Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So I have a few mess a few channel messages. So as most of you guys know, I primarily channel. I mean, I do pull cards. It does help me, and I know it gives you guys a visual. But I usually just get psychic downloads and just kind of tap into the energy and tap into what's going on. So what I've been picking up regarding third-party situations, um, the karmics are retreating. They might not be showing that, but they are They are at that point. They are at that breaking point. I see them crying. I see them exhausted. I see them giving up. They're furious that they don't have the control anymore. It's all about control for them. They never really loved the DM. You know, most of them, some of them like the idea of having a family with them. Like they like the, um, the social status. They wanted, you know, the divine masculine was kind of protecting them from you know, society being able to show their true colors because the karmic was able to gaslight the DM into defending them. You know, she probably put the idea in his head like, oh, you got to stand up for your family. You have to stand up for me. So, you know, he told all his friends and everybody else that, you know, oh, she's not crazy. She is not violent. She just, you know, loses her temper once in a while, but it's fine. And this could be male or female, so take it as it resonates. But, um, you know, like we've channeled already, um, she she knows that she can't use him as a shield anymore. She can't gaslight him anymore. He's smarter than that now. He sees through her now, and he knows that he's being gaslit. So I have a few updates. So for one, okay, so she the karmics are very exhausted, and this could be this could be a male karmic too. This could be male or female, because I know I do have clients that, you know, have men that are physically abusive that stalk them and that kind of thing. So this could be a male karmic too. So even if I say female, just, you know, take it as it resonates. There's no specific gender here. You know, you know what your story is. But what I'm getting is that some of you are going to get an apology and the divine wants you to know that that apology is fake. So this could be someone that was physically abusive with you that might send you a message and say, hey, like, I'm so sorry, I've changed, I'll never hit you again, you know, I'm, I'm a better person now, and they're really just trying to gain control over you, it's not genuine. For others, I think that maybe um, your true love is in this third party situation, and your true love is going to get an apology, or you're going to get an apology, like, let's say that you've been fighting the karmic on your true love's behalf, like, you've been protecting them from this karmic, you know, some of you are witches too. Some of you have been, you know, doing magic and stuff to protect them. A lot of you don't even need to do magic. This is like, you're so protected that so many of you don't even need to do magic at this point. Like the divine has intervened. We're going to get into that in a minute though. But, you know, whatever the situation is, like, like I said, some of you are, are protecting your person um, from this karmic or your, you know, take it as it resonates. And this karmic is about to apologize to you for trying to separate the two of you or she's about to try to apologize to him or to her for, you know, trying to do breakup work on the two of you or however it played, however that played out. And the, this divine wants you to know that this apology is not genuine. So you need to be smarter and you need to be logical when this comes in. Because I'm seeing that the karmics are really panicking right now. And we'll get into that in a minute. But they're scared. They're scared right now. And they have every reason to be scared. They messed with the wrong spirits. They fucked with energies that they do not understand. Their souls are too young to comprehend the kind of spirits that they were trying to entangle with. You know, they tried to mess with ancient spirits and they, you can't, you just can't do that. You can't do that if you don't know what you're doing. And these karmics, you know, are children. They don't know what they're doing. They just want, you know, control and power. So, so a lot of them are trying to avoid this bad karma, um, it's, you know, it's that season where they're going to reap what they've sown. And some of them think that if they give you some fake half-ass apology that maybe, you know, maybe, maybe the karma will ease off them. And that's just simply not the case. And I'll tell you guys why in a minute. But, but, you know, the divine just wants you to know if you get someone saying, oh, I'm so sorry, I've changed or I... I'm going to, you know, some, someone, it, it could be a trap too. I feel like someone could be at that breaking point where they, they've been angry. They've been, they've been screaming at you or your person, you know, they've been, they're trying to pull, they're still trying to do everything they can, but they're exhausted. They are, you know, they might not be giving up like today, but I do feel like we're getting closer and closer to that point where they're giving up. Like things are continually progressing. 
um, to the point where they're giving up. But sometimes that does look really messy because they're, you know, they're so upset. It's like rock bottom. It's 10 of swords energy. It's that breaking point where they're just like, you know, sometimes like even though they're exhausted and depressed, sometimes they're going to throw out little things here and there to try to, to, you know, try to get control again. And, you know, DMs or, or DFs too, you know, you have to realize when you get this apology that this person, like, this person's upset that they were not able to ruin your life. It's not even really about love for them. They are furious because they don't have power and control over you or over your person. Or maybe they wanted control over you guys as a couple. Like, they wanted to be able to dictate how your relationship went. You know, whatever the situation is, like, they're just, they're furious. They don't have the power and control. That's one reason they're they're doing this. The other reason is, you know, like I said, they they're not able to gaslight who they thought was their person anymore. So they they don't have that good standing with society anymore. Some of them might have been with someone who had like a higher up position in society and this karmic doesn't have that position. They don't have that good standing with people. And they've lost that now and they're trying to get that back because they want people to think that they're a good person. They everyone's seeing their true colors now and there's no going back from that. But they, they want to, you know, they're trying to figure out a way to go back to that. It's to go back from that. It's like society has seen their true colors and they're trying to think of some way that they can just undo this. And they really can't, you know, the only thing would be to, to not be such a shitty person. But either way, even if they decide to not be a shitty person, they still have to leave you and your true love alone anyway. You know what I mean? Like neither of you will ever want this person anywhere around you. But, um, but yeah, so there's that there's, and then there's fear. That's a, that's a huge factor too, is that a lot of them, like I said, they're afraid they're trying, they're thinking that maybe it's like, they think that they can trick the spirits. They think that they can give this half-ass apology. That's not really genuine. It's rooted in the desire to gain power and control back. It's rooted in the desire to gaslight someone to be an eight of swords energy and play the victim and kind of make, you know, give someone a sob story. And it's just, it's not going to work. And they, it's, it's so weird. I don't understand how the karmics are so naive because it, the spirits see through them so easily. It is so easy for the spirits to see right through these karmics. And I do not understand for the life of me how they think that they can hide from spirits. Like, because it's energy. You can't fake energy. You can apologize to someone and get on your hands and knees and cry and say you want to change. But the spirits will know what your energy is. They know if that apology is rooted in the desire to gaslight someone and control them and be a psychic vampire and get their energy back. Some of these people are psychic vampires and they've been cut off from their energy source. So it's like a psychic vampire that's basically like starving now. Like they're starving for energy. Like they don't you know, society has seen through them. So they're, they're trying to find someone, they're like a little leech. They're trying to find someone to drain and they, they have no one to drain now because, you know, people see their, they don't have a good standing in, in public or in society or at work, wherever this might be, you know, their true colors have come out. And so a lot of people are cutting them off. A lot of people are taking their power back from them. And this person is kind of the person that like, they seemed powerful because, they were so manipulative and they were like a psychic leech where, you know, some um, like false prophets and those kind of people do that where they will leech off of their followers and, you know, to the public, they seem so powerful, but really it's because they're, they're draining your power. They're draining all these other people's power. And so, you know, you're seeing this, this collection of, of power in the karmic, but it's not actually his or her power. It's just, what he or she has drained from all these other people that they've gaslit. Does that make sense? So these people that the karmic has gaslit are now taking their power back. They're, you know, I think the DM and DF have kind of cleared their own names and there's, you know, people know that the karmic's a liar now. So anything that he or she says is just going to go in one ear out the other. No one's going to listen to the karmic anymore. And I, so I feel like other people have also been drawn to take their power back from these karmics because they're realizing, you know, Oh, damn, the rumors were, were, were true. She really did hit him behind closed doors. He really did um, cheat on her behind closed doors. You know what I mean? Like, he really did, you know, beat her up behind closed doors. Or, you know, it could be male, male, female, female, too. Just take it as it resonates. But 
But basically, you know, society sees through them. So they don't have their energy source. They're a psychic vampire that just has lost their energy source now. And, um, and yeah, I just, I just kept getting a strong message is like, you're probably, you might get an apology, but again, it's, it's because they've tried everything. They've tried to gaslight you. They've tried to manipulate you. They've tried to threaten to, to do this to you, do this to your person. They've, they've probably stalked you. They've probably tried to, they've probably done this and this and this, you know? And so they're at that point where they're like, damn, I have nothing else. Like the anger, like they're not giving into my anger anymore. They're not giving into this anymore. What do I do to control them? So they're like, well, maybe if I apologize, you know, maybe, um, maybe I can trick them into thinking like I'm genuinely sorry and I genuinely want to change. Maybe that, maybe I can play on their emotions and their empathy again, since they're shutting me out so much. Maybe if I take a less angry approach, I can get their energy back. You know, but you need to you need to be mindful because this this apology is fake. I cannot reiterate it enough, no matter how genuine it feels. And this is if you're dealing with a toxic karmic, you know what I mean? Like like some of you, like if your true love comes around or something like let's say like those in separation, if your true love comes around and apologizes, yeah, then yeah, that's genuine. But if this is somebody that like physically abused you, like cheated on you, gaslit you, like talk shit like all like all like you know you, you know what I mean like you should be able to tell the difference between a karmic and a true love so you know if you get an apology from a true love definitely take the apology but if it's from a karmic someone that's like trying to force you into being with them even though you're just completely over them um someone that like physically hurt you like a psychic vampire type like you you would know you know what I mean um or they hurt your person or tried to hurt your person or whatnot um, then, then that apology is not genuine and you need to be smarter. You know what I mean? Like you need to not let this person play on your empathy. You need to be a few steps ahead of them. You know, I cannot reiterate enough that that apology is fake. That apology is fake. They are just, they're scared, you know? And the thing that the karmics don't understand either is that this isn't just about the divine masculine and the divine feminine, This is justice for everybody that the karmic has harmed, like everybody, because this karmic is a seductress. Um, this karmic, male or female, it's like they gaslight people. This is a sociopath or a psychopath. For many of you, you're dealing with a psychopath, not even a sociopath. This person is like, this person is delusional. This person is dangerous. This person is an absolute psycho. And this is just, this is justice for everyone that the karmic is gaslit i'm gonna get into that in another video though because i feel like i'm getting like some spirit energy here like um some spirit energy oh my god that, just, that makes sense right no i'm feeling like there's some spirits here that kind of want to get more into that into the karmic's past and why they have to pay this karmic debt now you know because the karmics seem to think that it's like you know, the DM and DF doing it to her, but it's like, no, like if I, if I asked my spirit guides right now to go easy on the karmic I'm dealing with, they would say no, they wouldn't even allow me to do that. They would, you know what I mean? Like, even if I wanted, I wouldn't want that. But even if I did, I doubt they would even listen to me. Like, this is just, this isn't just about the DM and DF. This is justice for all the, the people that the karmic has screwed over. You know, there's several people. There's things that you guys don't even know about that the karmic has done. There's, you know, some of these karmics have gotten into some illegal shady shit that you don't even know about. Like, they did it, you know, and some of you, like, thought you knew them so well and they did all this behind your back. But I'm going to get into that in another video. I'm just feeling like there's another message that wants to come out in this video. So check back for my second video. Um, I'm sorry, I would do all these together, but my um, my stupid phone keeps cutting out the videos and I have not figured out how to fix that. So in the meantime, I'm just kind of doing um, shorter videos. But there was one more thing I wanted to mention too. There's, okay, so the karmic is basically, like I said, you know, this apology is fake. No matter how genuine it feels, it is fake. If it's coming from the karmic, if it's coming from a true love, it's it's real. You can trust it. But if it's coming from a toxic karmic that was abusive, that gaslit you, you know, like a, soci a psychopath type, then yeah, that's definitely a fake apology. You know, psychopaths don't care about anybody but themselves. They pretend to, but they don't really genuinely care about anybody else but themselves. And um, what I'm getting is that these karmics are hiding behind um, 
they're hiding behind someone now. They're, it's like a little chihuahua that just, you know, talked all this shit behind the gate and then you open the gate up and this big pit bull comes in and it's like, then they, they suddenly shut up. It's kind of like that. They're like, they didn't know what they were fucking with. You know, they thought they were protected behind the gate. And that gate's been removed, you know? The divine has removed that gate. They're like, no, nah, you don't have it. You, you're stripped of your protection. You're stripped of your powers. You're stripped of, you know, a lot of these karmics have been stripped of their psychic abilities where they're getting mixed messages. And it's it's the divine screwing with them. Like, there's these spirits that are screwing with them. Spirits aren't always love and light. Some spirits are darker. Some spirits, you know... And even the lighter ones will still, you know, they still believe in justice, you know, depending on what spirits you're dealing with. But anyway, um, what I'm getting is that some of these karmics are trying to hide behind mommy or trying to hide behind daddy or they're, some of them are, have teamed up with another toxic karmic is what I'm getting. So this could be two women or it could be two men. I guess for some, it could be male and female, but for some reason I'm feeling like the majority of you, it's either two women or two men. So I feel like this karmic is like, like they've allied up. Like, let's say that you um, have like a mutual enemy or, or, or like, like you're a mutual enemy with someone that they know. Or like, let's say like some of them have like befriended someone that the divine feminine knows or that the divine masculine knows in, in order to kind of manipulate them and kind of, you know, get someone on their side because they know they have no more power. They know that they're screwed and they, they know that there's no way around it. You know, this is justice being served finally. And this is just the beginning. Like, they, these karmics can ruin the rest of their lives if they want to. It's up to them. It's up to where they take it from here. But, um, but yeah, I'm getting some of these karmics have, like, befriended your friend. You're, you're, like, if you have, like, an old friend that, like, turned into an enemy, like, they've befriended them. Or, um, like, this could be your person's, like, ex-friend or something like that. Or, like, someone, like, in society. Maybe they have someone. I'm seeing, like, a coffee shop for somebody. I don't know who that'd be for. Maybe someone that works at a coffee shop. But I'm seeing, like, just for, like, one or two of you, I feel like maybe this is someone that they know is toxic like them. They know that this person likes to gossip and just talk shit. And they don't have a life just like them. They like to, you know, they're, they're, the, they're the two girls at the club that just kind of sit there at the corner sit there in the corner, you know, sipping on their little martinis and, and judging everybody and saying, oh, look how she dances. Look how much she weighs. Look at, look at that guy. Ew. Like, just like, just, just negative. Just, just sitting there having, glaring other girls down because they're insecure about their own bodies. You know, like those kind of women, those kind of, you know, those women, like you go to a club or something and they're just, they're hating on you for no reason because they think you're trying to steal their man when you're just, you don't even know who the hell their man is. That kind of energy. Um, so, so yeah, some of them, it's like they knew that you had a mute. They knew that this person didn't like you. So they went to this person and befriended them. Or it could be your person's, per your you know, a, an old friend of your person's. It could also just be someone that they know is toxic just like them. Someone that likes to talk shit. Someone that's dramatic like them. So they just, you know, it's like mutual hatred basically. Like... Like, they know that this person is bored with their life, so they found someone that they can gaslight in, gaslight, and pull into their drama. So, so yeah, the karmic is basically trying to, um, trying to, to ally with this other toxic karmic. And it's really funny, because that's, like, that's pretty much the only person the karmic has left for the most part. They, like, they might have a few people, but for the most part, their friends and family are getting absolutely sick of them and their bullshit. So the karmic doesn't have very many people left. And so this karmic had to find a lot of people are raising their vibration and they're cutting these karmics out. So the karmic had to find someone that was of low vibration like them because their friends and family are getting to that point where they're like, dude, like, just shut the fuck up already. Like, shut the fuck up about this man that does not want you or this woman that does not want you. Um, you know, like, they're just like, shut the hell up about this person. Like, you are abusive. You gaslight. Some of the karmics are like playing this sob story and their family and friends are kind of looking at them like, dude, you like cheated on this person. You gaslit them. You physically abused them. You tried to turn their kids against them. You stalked them. Like, why the hell would they want to touch you with a 10-foot pole? 
But the karmic's a psycho, so a lot of their friends and family are trying to agree with them because they don't want to deal with the drama because they know it's like the karmic tries to bully people into telling her what she wants to hear, and if they don't tell her what she wants to hear, she snaps. So a lot of these fam friends and family members are just kind of nodding their heads like, uh-huh, sure, sure, I'm sure you're going to get him back tomorrow. I'm sure, sure, of course you are, of course you are. Yeah, like they're telling these the, their friends and family these stories where – you know, the karmic's like, well, yeah, I cheated on him with his friend, but he drove me to do it. And their their family is looking at them like, dude, what? What? He didn't drive you to do shit. You either cheat on someone with their friend or you don't. Like, you know, and decent people realize this. Good, genuine people realize this. Psychopaths don't realize that. They think they're justified cheating with the masculine's friend or the, the feminine's friend, you know. Like, you know, take it how it, how it resonates, but it's just like, oh, it's this ridiculous energy. Oh, these karmics make me laugh. They do. I'm actually going to post another um, video because I know my phone's going to cut out any minute. So I'm sorry. So it's kind of a continued story. I think it's going to be three different videos. Um, so the next one is going to be, and you can watch them separately. You know what I mean? Like maybe if you only feel drawn to one, that's totally fine. So it's kind of like, it's another message that I'm going to get into, but I mean, it's it's all the same energy group. So I mean, it technically is three separate videos. But if you want to go more into this story, just check my channel for that video. I'm going to go more into, um, I'm going to do one video to go into how the karmic has alienated herself, what her, what her relationship is like with her friends and family right now, um, how that's all going. I might, I might pull some cards and see what else I can channel. And then I'm going to also um, channel the spirits that the karmic has screwed with that, you know, she didn't know what she was, he or she did not know what they were messing with. I'm going to do a third video going into that and explaining um, just the justice that's being served by these spirits. So, so go ahead and check my channel for that. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And, um... Yeah, please subscribe if this resonates. Please like, please share. You know, this might, maybe someone else needs to hear this. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.